Hello again everyone, this is Jeremy, Mr. UW from the forums. Some of you have mentioned that you've had PCBs when you put them in your cabinet, the screen is flipped upside down or left to right or something like that and there's no setting in the options menu for you to flip the screen. Or even if there is one, it'll flip it one way, it won't flip it the other way. So I'm going to show you how you can modify your yoke connector to flip the screen manually without having to use the manager setting if there is none. Um, let me zoom in on this for you here. All right. Here I have the yoke connector. As you can see, this one's already been snapped in half. And normally it's one solid piece. It'll only plug in one direction, all right? Now, on most monitors, red and blue wires is your horizontal, your hor horizontal deflection part for the yoke. And then normally it's yellow and green on newer monitors. This one just happens to be yellow and brown. Um, some monitors are not color coded at all, especially older ones. The easiest way to find out which one is which, put your multimeter on the lowest ohm setting and then put each probe in the connector there and then look at your reading. So blue and red are giving me about three, between three and four, about three ohms, all right? Now switch it to the other two. As you can see here, I've got about, I got about around 50, around 50 ohms. Now, when you do that, the smallest ohm reading is gonna be the horizontal. The highest ohm reading is gonna be vertical. Now, all you would do, let's just say your, your screen's upside down. So if your screen's upside down, you need to flip the vertical coil. And all you would do is you would, you would snap your connector here in half, or if you want, use a Dremel, and you got a clean cut, snap it in half, and then this is vertical, you would just flip it around and plug it back in the PCB on the monitor chassis like that. Then that will keep horizontal looking the same way, but it's gonna turn this, their vertical, the opposite direction. And then likewise, if your screen is backwards, you would just flip your horizontal over like that, and leave the other one the same. And obviously if you're upside down and backwards you would flip them both. Now what you cannot do, you cannot accidentally plug the vertical in where the horizontal is supposed to go. If you do that you're gonna blow up your yoke, you're gonna ruin your monitor. So you cannot do that. Luckily most of these are keyed and won't let you do that anyway. There's a bigger gap between the, the horizontal and the vertical. It wouldn't let you do that. Some monitors aren't like that. So I'm warning you now, if the connector isn't standard like this one here, make sure you don't mix, you don't mix them up. And make sure you measure the ohms if you're not sure so that you, uh, you flip the correct one so your screen is right. Now, on some monitors, for example, I have a Hendrix Polo chassis right here. Some monitor manufacturers had two yoke connectors on their on the chassis, two different ones. And if you needed the screen flipped, all you would do is you'd take the yoke connector out and plug it in the one right next to it, and it would flip the screen. That way, you don't have to modify your yoke connector. Um, more monitors don't have this feature than do have this feature but in the, on the Hantrex monitors, it usually does, so you don't have to split the connector. So make sure you look for that. And uh, if you're not sure if those connectors are for the yoke, just pull out your schematics. And if, I don't know if you'll be able to see it here, that right on the schematics is the, are the two connectors for the yoke, and all they do is they transpose the two wires to flip the image. It flips it both horizontally and vertically in this case. So like I said, if you need to flip only one direction, you're gonna have to break the connector and flip it manually yourself. 
Alright, I hope that wasn't too confusing. If you have any questions, as usual, just ask and I'll try to answer them. Alright, appreciate it. See you next time.